Doomsday Planes, USA vs. Russia Russia and the United States, as the world's most nuclear-armed countries, are focusing not only on military power, but also on conflict prevention by building a fleet of doomsday planes. It is intended to refer to the squadrons, that will be deployed to become the National Airborne Command Center, in the event of nuclear conflict, catastrophic disasters, or major wars, that threaten key military and government infrastructure. Aside from Russia and the United States, no other country in the world has this type of aircraft for this mission. These are also the two countries with the world's largest nuclear arsenals, and the deployment of the Doomsday Plane is seen as a preventive measure. In any case, the Doomsday Plane will transform into an impenetrable fortress in the sky, ensuring the safety of Russian and American presidents, military leaders, and key officials. In the event of a nuclear war, or the destruction of the entire U.S. military's ground communication system, the U.S. Air Force will deploy the E-4B Nightwatch, or E-6B Mercury aircraft as a backup plan. The E-4B and E-46B are also known as National Airborne Operations Center, or Flying Pentagon. These planes are militarized versions of commercial Boeing 747-200B, and Boeing 707-320 aircrafts. Each costs around $200 million. The Doomsday Plane was designed by the U.S. to withstand nuclear explosions, and will serve as a command and control center for the highest-ranking military officials, including the President, Secretary of Defense, and Chief of Staff. In a worst-case scenario, it could link to the United States nuclear triad, which includes a fleet of submarines, bombers, and intercontinental ballistic missiles. These aircrafts are designed to fly for up to 12 hours without refueling, and they can fly for up to 72 hours if refueled in the air. The Doomsday Plane is outfitted with radiation protection, 67 antennas, satellite dishes, and a slew of other high-tech devices. Doomsday planes are always following the President of the United States wherever he goes in Air Force One. From the plane, U.S. officials can communicate with anyone, anywhere in the world. The E-4B is also outfitted with a system that can detect and prevent cyber attacks. The plane has three cabins and can seat up to 112 people. This is one of the military aircrafts with the most crew members in the United States, if not the world. According to experts, the Doomsday Plane's basic structure is similar to that of Air Force One, but it is outfitted with more modern equipment and the most advanced American technology. Every Doomsday Plane is designed with a variety of communication devices. These include very low-frequency antennas that can be installed at the rear of the plane, as well as ultra-high-frequency equipment and the Milstar communication system in the plane's front. Milstar is a general-purpose satellite communication system that provides secure, interference-free global communications to missionaries during wartime. The plane can connect command posts to a wide range of assets, such as surface ships, submarines, aircraft, and ground bases. All planes and equipment on board are reinforced with layers of protection against nuclear capability destruction. Only the cockpit of these planes has windows. Each of these windows includes an electromagnetic pulse shield to protect the aircraft's sensitive systems. In a crisis, representative officers from all brands would gather in the center, acting as staff. A soundproof meeting room will be installed in the main cabin. Furthermore, the plane has a separate room for senior officials to rest. When something goes wrong, all the officers on the doomsday plane have the ability to replace their superiors in command. They must be well versed in American infrastructure, including the power grid. They alternately divide the crew to work and rest to ensure that the fleet operates the plane in a state of readiness. Teams of pilots, communication staff, specialists, navigators, engineers, and flight attendants are always interchangeable. Operating a doomsday plane is considered very expensive, with an estimated cost of 160,000 US dollars per hour. It is unclear how many doomsday planes the U.S. has for security reasons, though it was previously reported that they have 44B. The U.S. Navy has announced a plan to upgrade the C-130J-30 Hercules transport aircraft, to become a new doomsday plane, known as the EC-130J Takamo beginning in 2021. Hello. The Russian Command Center in the Air Russia, like the United States, has its own fleet of doomsday planes dedicated to serving Russian President Vladimir Putin and his close officials in times of danger. In comparison to the United States, Russia is much more cautious about disclosing information about doomsday planes for security reasons. Ilyushin Il-80 planes are currently serving as Russian air command posts. It's also known as the Flying Kremlin. 
The plane has an operational range of up to 12,000 kilometers. They were developed in the late 1980s and entered service in 1992, based on the Ilyushin Il-86 aircraft. Three of the four Il-80s remain in service, stationed at the Chkolovsky base outside of Moscow. The Il-80 has a distinctive appearance from conventional commercial plane as they are windowless. The cockpit is the only area with windows, but they are separated by a special partition. This design allows the Il-80 to protect its people on the plane from an electromagnetic pulse attack or a nuclear explosion. The SATCOM satellite communication system is housed inside a floating block in the plane's front. A very low frequency antenna is mounted on the aircraft's tail. The Il-80 is also equipped with a number of sensors and antennas that allow it to communicate at all times and from any location. In the event of a nuclear war, Russia will use the planes to ensure that communication lines between high-ranking officials and military facilities are not disrupted. The Il-80 can also be refueled in the air, allowing it to stay up in the air for extended periods of time. Russia currently possesses four Il-80s. The most valuable system on board the plane is the Svino-S, an advanced communication system that ensures President Putin and Russian leaders can command from a distance. The Il-80 is 60 meters long. 48 meters wide, has a maximum speed of 850 km per hour, and a range of 3,600 km. In the event of a full-fledged war, the E Lady Maxstone will serve as Russia's air command post and will be dispatched to pick up Russian President Vladimir Putin, who normally travels by Rossiya's plane. In comparison to the Rossiya aircraft, the E Ladies are better protected in the event of a nuclear explosion. The planes are fully integrated into the Russian Nuclear Forces Command System. While aboard the Il-80, the Russian president can direct the launch of intercontinental ballistic missiles from land or sea, as well as make critical combat decisions. The new Russian Doomsday plane will be based on the Il-96 400M in July 2020. Furthermore, the new Doomsday planes, like their predecessors, are expected to have a defense system against any airstrikes or missile attacks. Russia's new Doomsday planes will have a longer range than current planes, and will be able to effectively communicate with strategic nuclear forces from a distance of nearly 6,000 kilometers. It is expected that Russia will receive the new planes in 2026.